Hey you guys, welcome back to Candy Land. Today I have a very different video for you. Um, I wanted just to show you um, some uh, backgrounds I got for um, for my videos. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby with my mommy <laughs> and uh, I thought it would be a good idea to get some of these um, different uh, papers. This cardstock maybe? No, I don't think it is. I think it's kind of thin to be card stock. But anyway, um, I got this idea from Nikki from Absolute Nails. She did a video several weeks ago where she went to the store and she um, picked out some um, different like sample papers or whatever from her local craft store to for her backgrounds. And I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, I hadn't even really thought about it until I saw her video. So, um, if I can find the video again, I will leave a link down in the description box. So you can go check out her video and where I got this inspiration from. Um, but right here, this is one, obviously. Um, I just thought, <laughs> I just thought it was adorable. See, it's got these little bubbles and it's got the cute little rubber ducky sitting in the soap. I wanted, I definitely wanted something different, um, rather than my usual boring background. Um, but I don't even know how well they're going to look, um, on camera. I actually got these a few weeks ago. Otherwise I would have recorded myself in the, the, um, the store like she did, but whatever. So I grabbed this one because I was absolutely in love. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you will not find any glitter backgrounds, you guys. I know some of y'all are probably like, oh my God, I'm surprised she didn't get any hollow backgrounds. I couldn't. I wanted to so bad because they were beautiful, but I was thinking they would just be making my camera go all meh. They'd make my, my camera go all nutter butters. So I was like, no, just stick with the matte finish and these are still beautiful they don't have to be all sparkly to be beautiful I know that's probably blasphemous coming from me the glitter queen but <laughs> they're still beautiful this one is probably my it's my second favorite I'll show you my first favorite um, in a minute but this right here was picked by my youngest daughter because she is a unicorn nerd. Just like the nail diva, Tanya. <laughs> I was thinking about her when I grabbed this too. Um, my daughter loves unicorns. So this was definitely going to be... I told um, I told her to pick one and this of course was sitting right there. So Okay, and the next one... So wait, these were from Hobby Lobby. The duck, the mermaid scales, and this unicorn was from Hobby Lobby. Um, now that I think about it, not all of these were from Hobby Lobby. I went to Michael's too. Oh, I'll finish showing you the Hobby Lobby first. Okay. Okay, so this one's also from Hobby Lobby. I just... I absolutely love music and this one just so rustic looking I just thought it was beautiful so yeah all of these are from Hobby Lobby I'm trying to remember which one is from oh I forgot I got this oh my gosh oh, hold on before I get to that one let me show you what else I got I love this music one and then I got another music one aren't these gorgeous I freaking love them. They're so pretty. And then I could not resist this map themed one. There we go. Beautiful map. And the thing about these are, is they're super cheap. They're 69 cents. Um, yeah, all of these are 69 cents at Hobby Lobby. 
absolutely beautiful and you get a pretty decent sized piece it's 12 by 12 so it's pretty big um perfect for a background um they were actually on sale at the time um my mom got a bunch too um I don't remember how much they were. I think they were four for a dollar at the time. They were super, super cheap. So, yeah, because I'm pretty sure I got eight of them all together from Hobby Lobby. I think. I think. I don't remember. Okay, so here's this one. Beautiful cloudy sky. Isn't that beautiful? I love this so much. This was also from Hobby Lobby. And these are all, they're 69 cents um, regular price, but they always have sales going on, so you could even get them cheaper. And yeah, I did get eight. Here's eight. I love it. Oh, it is so cute. It's so pretty. It's got the little unicorn floaties. I think these are all supposed to be floaties. I didn't even realize it, but yeah, it looks like a background of water and then like little floaties, giant floaties. Beach ball, pineapple ring. These are, it's so summery, so cute. I absolutely love this one. Um, then I got one from, my. I only got one from Michael's. This is definitely my favorite. I don't remember how much it was, but it was marked down. Check this out. <laughs> it's a giant donut. I love donuts. <laughs> Not with the pink frosting and sprinkles and everything, but it's super pretty. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Thought it would be really cute for pictures. I would just put like, you know, something like a piece of white paper um, below it. And then you would just see the, just see the donut. My surface without anything is just this black table that I've already, I haven't even had that long and already it's covered in glitter and probably acrylic, probably some slime too. <laughs> so that's why I thought it was a good idea to have a really cool background. Like typically I just use a piece of white printer paper up under whatever it is I'm doing but it's boring boring oh and it's I know it's a little shiny but it's actually in a it's inside of a plastic sleeve here I wonder if it's shiny I actually haven't opened I've never actually opened this I've had it for weeks it in there for now I wonder if these other ones would actually fit inside of this I wonder just keep the sleeve and just kind of stick them in here <laughs> just slide them in here whenever I want to switch um, switch uh, backgrounds and I'll keep it all safe that'd be cool let me see let's, t let's give it a test drive Okay. Cute little background. All right. It doesn't look half bad. I actually like that. And maybe I could put my name on the sleeve, those plastic sleeve. That way, every time I take it out, put something else in, my name will always be here. It will always be here. 
Oh, and if you're wondering, like, what's up with this? Like, what is that? What you're doing with that? If you don't recall, which I did do a video on um, a few weeks ago, this is the bowl. This is the garbage bowl, quote, unquote. Um, basically, um, of, like, failed text, um, test mixes. Um, and a test mi mix, what I mean is I just kind of, like, did just a small portion of, of something, I ha of an idea I had in my head to see if it comes out the way I was thinking it. And if it didn't, I just threw that shit in her. <laughs> There's also, like, um, fallout to, like, all over my table. I just kind of, like, scooped it up into my, into my bowl. Um, yeah, that's basically what, what this is. And I have not mixed it. I have just been adding to it for the last like month <laughs> so you can see it's a lot of waste but we're gonna like I think I'm gonna get it to half full because I think it's only like a quarter right now I want to get it to about half full and then we're gonna mix it up together and see what it looks like see if it looks any good okay well that's it um if you are looking for different backgrounds, um, if you do nail videos, um, I would suggest checking out Hobby Lobby, checking out um, Michael's, or maybe Joann's. I haven't actually looked at Joann's, but um, it's a really cool and expensive way to like switch up your backgrounds a little bit. Um, and you can just get these sleeves, or you could just have them laminated for you know not even that much money um <laughs> i didn't have this laminate obviously you know i just stuck it in the sleeve that one of my papers came in um but yeah i thought it was a really cool idea like i said i got the idea from um nikki from absolute nails and if you would like to see her video uh, I will have it linked down um, in the description box below. I absolutely love these so much. It was such a cute idea. And I have been using such a boring background for so long. And I'm thinking, it's time to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> I absolutely love these music ones. Love those. I may just give this to my daughter. Like put her name on it and just stick it on her wall since she's so enamored with, with it. This is definitely my favorite. And back to the adorable little rubber ducky. Well, thanks guys so much for watching this video. If you like different videos from me other than the glitter mixing, then just let me know. Comment down below. These videos like this, if you like listening to me, run off at my mouth because we all know I can do that. Um, just let me know down in the description box. Not in the description box, in the comment section. Hello. Duh. All right. <laughs> um... Yeah, so you guys, if you're not already subscribed, I'm not entirely sure what you're waiting on. Like, hello, go hit that button. Um, I do <laughs> do plan on having a giveaway um, really soon for YouTube. And I will be announcing my giveaway, my big giveaway for Instagram um, very soon as well. I will be giving those details. So you gotta keep out watching, keep watching. Yeah. See, I need to stop myself sometimes because I just go, nah, 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 nah. thank you guys so much for listening to me run off at my mouth and I will talk to you guys later.